Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is September 18th, 2022, and it's 11 a.m. Pacific time, my time. And we're doing a live stream open discussion on investing and personal finance. Uh, it's been a while since we did uh, one of these actually. We've talked a lot about these in the past, and uh, I do have a let me grab the link. I forgot to grab the link. I do have an investing and personal finance uh, playlist on SensorTube. Um, most of those videos are also available on all the other platforms. Uh, they should all be available on Odyssey. Um, and many of them uh, are available on Rumble and BitChute as well. And at some point, I will be um, uploading all of them. Uh, and creating playlists on BitChute and uh, Rumble and Odyssey as well. Uh, so slowly but surely, uh, we transfer to uh, uncensored platforms. And let me give you guys the link. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to post this in the chat so people uh, can see it. Okay. Just want to grab it to have it handy so I can do it just cut and paste. Uh, when people ask for it um, and the top the first sort of eight videos that I uploaded on that playlist sort of lay out my uh, eight or ten layouts uh, my belief uh, on what investing in personal finance is about and how to become anti-fragile or financially independent so if you're interested in uh, my it more in-depth take sort of a laying everything out properly uh, on where I'm coming from um, and it touches on many many topics uh, that's where you want to start if uh, you you're new to these types of discussions we've got our kitty cats right there on our catio enjoying uh, enjoying late summer early fall kicking in <laughs> that's a nice stretch <laughs> <laughs> sleepy waves how are you doing chicho what's up chicho thanks for making this the stream my pleasure sleepy waves it's been a while since i've ca uh, caught you live awesome glad to have you and sleepy wave was the one that requested uh this personal finance uh live stream uh, and it is interesting times and there's a lot going on and uh, it is important to know uh, some of the events that are taking place to protect yourself right uh, aside from that, while we wait for people to roll in, um, if you want to know what this work is about, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. We do have a Substack and a subscribe star page as well. And I'm going to be adding a lot more stuff uh, to Substack, doing a lot of writings. Some of those writings might not appear on Patreon because uh, Patreon as well is a censored platform. But if I do... Uh, do any writings that are going to be on any other platform other than patreon i will definitely let our patrons know uh, where to find the material uh, because it is in large part of the support that we're getting on patreon and twitch that we're able to do what it is that we are doing and i thank you very much for that support finish dude 2000 hello hello how are you doing welcome to another live stream first time chat that's sweet chin music finally made it to live stream glad to have you uh that's sweet chin music uh salute to you this is a uh, non-alcoholic this is uh, uh grapes that we harvested uh during the last stream i think or two streams ago so i made uh, concentrate out of them and this is the grape concentrate with soda it's very delicious so cheers for the first chat if you want to if you want to see what it looks like here uh, made the concentrate and put it in this jar and i brought a glass because i was going to show you guys it's beautifully like take a look at this thing take a look at the color of this right and it's really strong okay uh, added very little sugar okay one like a big pot added like maybe a cup cup and a quarter of sugar organic cane sugar the rest of the sweetness and the tartness tanginess is from the grapes themselves right and this is concentrate delicious this would go amazing for cocktails no doubt no doubt oh my god 
oh so very very good and we've got two jars we've got this one and a very another big one out of one pot of grapes and take a look at this this is the meat uh, of the grapes right so it separates uh, the juice let's see if it's gonna focus come on let's see let's get you there you go All right so that's the grape skin and then right there is sour cream and <laughs> they go really good together okay I've been eating this uh, the grape skin putting it in our uh, in my soups uh, not soups uh, soups in my um, what do you call it cereals let me open up the door so the kitty cat can go in and out so into the cereal a sort of fruit and just every now and then just grab a spoonful and just munch it up and it really good goes with sour cream and cheese super delicious okay very unique very unique uh, seriously squirrel seriously squirrel hi chicho hi seriously squirrel hope you're doing well baby nice welcome welcome to another live stream will this these advices still be valid when the great reset ends will we be able to own anything yeah we, we can you can you own yourself you own everything end of story right so number one one of the number one rules of investing in personal finance is do not become a slave right own what you do own yourself own your destiny right do not put your faith in any centralized institution or system because they're not there to protect you they're there to enslave you okay number one rule and once you do that you're, you're a free thinking human being you can own whatever you want right Nagushka, how are you doing? Yo, Chicha, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. I dreamt about this stream last night. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad it was a dream, it wasn't a nightmare. <laughs> Panzikala. Pan Panzikila. Panzikila. How are you doing? Welcome to our live stream. It looks like uh Saki. Uh grape guacamole. Grape guacamole. <laughs> pretty much. But uh, not guacamole. I like guacamole with the salsa chips and stuff. This is really good. It is decadent. Very decadent. And this is super delicious. Sleepy waves. Chicho. I keep getting uh, depressed looking at my stocks. <laughs> dude we talked about this right um okay uh, let me give you now let's go through the intro and by the way this whole thing will be loaded on sensor tube so we're not going to talk about any sensitive subjects that sensor tube does not allow people to talk about might hint on certain things okay so we'll load up the full live stream on sensor tube but we do announce these uh live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live and get our vk gap mines uh parlor and bitcloud <laughs> this is how it's chasing a bug um bitcloud so you can follow the work there and we'll see what other platforms uh we join okay i will be uploading the audio of this live stream on recording the lapel mic on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast so we're back to uploading uh these live streams as podcasts and these podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play uh, that sweet chin music fight like hell to have zero debt fight like hell to have zero debt dude if you're in a western world fight like hell to get zero debt put some cash on the side have some savings make sure you're independent do not take on a huge uh, burden financial burden okay just saying first time chat a dyke's butt haha <laughs> nancy pelosi has respiratory shit breath disease <laughs> salute welcome to our live stream uh, is she even still alive i thought she was a zombie that's got makeup on her All right finished to 2000 i'm 21 i need to pay about 150 euro uh then i'm uh, debtless 150 euro awesome awesome 
A dyke's butt, but thank you for the follow. Honk, honk. <laughs> She's laughing. Her breast smells like tuna cheeks. Hilarious. Nagushka, I hope there's uh, info in layman's terms here today. Indeed. Um, and I think layman's terms is the best way to think about... Um, think about think about personal finance and investing right uh, all the mumbo jumbo and all these fancy words that investment firms and stuff use to uh, convince people to take their hard-earned money and give it to them is magic is a ponzi scheme right their their whole business model is built on bringing new money right that's what a ponzi scheme is okay um that sweet chin nancy found out she had zero alcohol content on <laughs> hilarious <laughs> ponzi killer well, pelosi exhales methane out of on which end from both ends i think lark park man how you doing awesome lark park hope you're doing well welcome to another live stream are you a w i don't know what a w is uh a dyke but you're asking me i don't know what a w is uh if you put a and w together is that awake or are you saying w as in woke <laughs> no they have a completely different meaning <laughs> her ears do like the cartoons ponzi killer is just going off on pelosi hilarious oh do you smoke weed every day bro um i i'm i stopped smoking um combusting because i'm getting older i've been doing this for a long time so saving the lines so i've been vaporizing for about 10 years now okay yeah about 10 years yeah, i guess so I, I i lost i lost track i do you know we do grow our own right salute salute uh in canada we're allowed to grow four plants so we're growing four plants uh, and i was until i got this little nasty flu so for the last couple of months, I haven't been uh, vaporizing because I've got this little nasty flu. So every now and then you need to take, take a break. All right? Oh, Nagushka. Uh, w means wara in Japanese, which is laughter. <laughs> nice. Wara. Yeah, I, uh, I do a lot of wara. <laughs> Greatness vaping. Bro, I need some weed, bro. <laughs> Maybe you should hit up Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> I'm not sure it's too funny. Lark part. I definitely need to know a thing or two about personal finance and business. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody does. Everybody does. They don't teach you in school, right? Uh, I, th uh, I threw a bunch of edible uh, wildflowers out in my backyard. Very beautiful to see how fast they sprout. Indeed, indeed. Right like to laugh yo spencer man how are you doing hope you're doing well that's sweet that sweet chin smart man a lot of weed users never give their lungs a break yeah indeed you got to take your and with anything you got to take a break every now and then uh intermittent fasting on everything is is a good idea right it's a good idea lark bark and an espanol agua agua water agua water first time chat jeff one triple x a salute hope you're doing well <laughs> first thing you post is any gr what <sighs> okay gang let's finish off the intro da, 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 da. and gang we will be uploading this full live stream on sensor tube okay uh, unless everyone wants to take the direction you know conversation in a direction that we can't and if that happens we'll let everyone know to go to the full links on bitchu rumble and odyssey anyone that's still watching on sensor tube okay um and if you are only watching on sensor tube you're not getting the full content of everything that we're doing all of our live streams not by a long shot they're not all being loaded on sensor tube but they are all being loaded on bitchu rumble and odyssey okay uh see ways chicho uh you ever been to mexico or latin america yeah i've been to mexico uh a uh, couple of times one time with family when i was young and another time 
at the end of university we went there for like three weeks or something i can't remember now uh traveled around mexico it was really good I had a lot of fun I had a lot of fun uh what is this ethereum merger everyone keeps on talking you know what i really haven't followed it that much i think uh cryptos are in trouble to a certain degree so um they were doing it from it was going from proof of work to proof of um I, I have to look into a sleepy waves it's just they're trying to adapt um, all these cryptos are realizing that there's a lot of uh, different things happening so everyone's trying to adapt they're breaking off they're merging um, we'll see where it goes we'll see where it goes be careful with cryptos be be careful with cryptos that's all I can really tell you right now and gang do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange the publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity something that we desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor to and a tremendous amount of content that you can find on multiple platforms on julian assange wikileaks and what his persecution means to our societies okay and again we do have a gilded server you're welcome to join us there okay you can share information we got two main subcategories which are light topics and heavy topics and each one of those has multiple different folders where you can share a fair bit of information and participate in discussions happy sad uh, joyful whatever right uh, aside from that gang welcome to our live stream I hope you're having a good time I hope you're enjoying your Sunday morning, afternoon, evening. And uh, let's talk about investing in personal finance. And disclaimer, I'll, I'll give you guys this at the beginning. Uh, Sleepy Waves brought up uh, stocks. The only company that family is long on uh, heavy is CFVI, which is uh, a rumble. This company right here rumble okay there they got approved for securities exchange they approved them to do the merger uh, with CFBI because it was a shell sort of company holding uh, whatever they're called and uh, they did discussion they had the funds so that's who who they're going with okay and rumble actually has a two billion dollar lawsuit against Google and um, a judge recently in last week or a couple of weeks ago or whatever it was uh, stated that that lawsuit is uh, can go ahead uh, so they're gonna go uh, that lawsuit is going to go trial or whatever they're gonna do uh, so maybe settle out of court right and the odds are Google will settle out of court with rumble and that will be a huge injection of funds into rumble uh we'll see where that goes this is all speculation high risk high risk with family that's the only stock the family is long on okay cfvi rumble okay it's not rmbl sleepy waves it's cfvi uh cfvi okay that should be the symbol anyway but look into it before you do anything and this is not 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 financial advice not financial advice and on that note family has puts i've been mentioning this for a while now uh family is riding puts okay we're in and out sometimes fast sometimes riding puts all the way down right now family is holding puts on um i believe five stocks okay uh, puts on Costco, puts on Lululemon, puts on Netflix, puts on uh, Toronto Dominion Bank, and puts on Air Canada. Okay, uh, those are the ones I can remember. Again, this is not, not, not financial advice, and we'll see where that goes. There might be bounces, uh, but I think the overall trend is bam down. Um, however, things might switch, change up extremely fast, right? personally i believe uh there might be a few 
days or a few weeks of major pressure on the markets and then at some point i think there might be some geo geopolitical events taking place where you might see the north american markets or spe specifically the american markets really rise up with either hyperinflation coming kicking in world war three kicking off in europe world war three kicking off in the middle east or the caucasus uh, or asia it's a tinder box out there right now so be careful gang be careful gang aside from that um, let's talk about what you guys want to talk about lots of things to talk about okay uh nagushka don't worry about what i just talked about right now it's it's just if you're into the markets overall overall understanding of investing in personal finance is the first place you should invest in is yourself okay your health both physical mental and emotional okay i don't give a rat's ass how much money you have and i've no people and i've known people that are extremely 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 well off when ill health takes hold on them they are all all would have been willing to give off give up all their wealth to have good health again okay many of them had bad health ill health because they put themselves under a tremendous amount of stress okay and that stress slowly grinded them down right so number one advice and we talked about this in our personal finance and investing playlist and nagushka go to this playlist on sensor tube okay start off with the first video i uploaded there which is sort of an introduction disclaimer and i mentioned five things that are most important uh, places to invest and none of those five stock market is not one of them okay so eating healthy mental health physical health uh, emotional health that's your number one place because the majority of bankruptcies in the western world that occur is because of ill health right i'm talking about people who are impoverished to people who are middle class to people who are extremely extremely well off once ill health gets a hold of them their finances crumble okay so the number one place you should always invest in is yourself your family your community okay that's your safety net that's your safety net okay Oh, Lark Park, you haven't gone to Rumble yet? Rumble is really good. Rumble is really good. Ghostface, how are you doing? Yeah, well, uh, all three platforms. BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. I I watch different content creators on different platforms. Uh, granted, I go to Rumble and BitChute more than Odyssey right now. Um, and for a while now. So I'm consuming content on BitChute. Um, rumble and odyssey uh rumble and bitshoot uh that's my two main video uh content uh consuming platforms way uh, sensor tube youtube is the fourth like i go to odyssey more than i do sensor tube okay so sensor tube is a titanic sinking You're, there's a lot of people still only uploading to sensor tube and uh, that's like you know as the lore goes is those people that were still dancing on the titanic thinking that everything's okay right don't be dancing on the titanic okay if you're a content creator don't don't go down with the ship don't go down with sensor two start going on to rumble odyssey bitchute start uploading content to free speech video sharing platforms because the titanic's going down right it's a slow it's a slow one but once once the once it goes like this it's gonna go whoosh, right because initially titanic was sinking slowly so people are still dancing but then once it goes past the critical point whoop, whoop, that's it sesame oil is good sleep away so you think costco gonna go down why uh why is costco gonna go down supply chain uh inflation costco is not just a food company right they also have other products so there's a lot of in costco there's a lot of space okay a floor space that's selling other stuff right non-essentials okay as people start uh, 
maxing out on their finances like inflation is kicking up like think about the essentials what are the essentials you need you need food you need shelter okay you need to be able to get to work right you need that means energy gasoline whatever right electricity whatever it is uh, new tires on your bike if you're riding a bike right get rid of the essentials okay a lot of costco floor space is not essentials okay there it's got a huge food section right but that floor space is not going to be bringing in uh, as much funds as uh, previously okay uh, there's also serious supply chain issues there's work uh, worker issues okay um, and overall we're going into uh, sort of a disruptive uh, global disruption of everything okay and think about how much stuff is going into Costco and Walmart as well family had puts on Walmart but we sold it um, oh yeah and uh, Dollar General as well uh, I believe we had family still have puts on them I believe so anyway um, DG that's a symbol on it uh, but basically uh, think about what might happen to the supply chain if the psychopaths neocons the World Economic Forum or whatever they actually start off a hot war in the Pacific right that supply chain is gonna go and a lot of companies that are dependent on goods coming out of China or Asia in general uh, those goods are either gonna cost a tremendous amount of money to bring out or they're gonna stop coming period right and that is uh, is uh, going to seriously hurt certain companies aside from that costco did a double uh, uh, head and shoulder movement if you look at costco stock over the last year or five years it goes like this boop and then boop and then boop and it's on a downtrend right family has had puts sold puts bought sold puts bought so in and out in and out um because there's going to be bounces certain bounces that's our guess okay <laughs> sleepy ways says i like costco sure <laughs> you can still like a company and go short on them right this is uh, and charts charts says a lot okay don't eat the Costco salmon. <laughs> uh, one good thing about Costco, they do have certain organic products as well, right? Which is not bad. Okay. Hubbleton. But farm fish has only the finest toxic waste pumped into it. Hubbleton says. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, Ponzi killer. A rich lady walked into my house one day and it turns out she does crack, but she called me cute. It's a long story. Don't Don't get involved with addicts that's sweet chin financial advice this is that's financial advice keep a long distance arms away from addicts okay addicts are like the titanic they'll take you down with them okay that's sweet chin my grandfather was an oil guy was a miserable wretch of a human my granddad had fun at the casino though haha -ha. and financial advice don't get into gambling uh, well maybe you will because the Marcus is just gambling anyway. G J G F I J G I D F J I <laughs> double Wow. I've just logged in to check your recent stream and you're live. I hope you're all doing well. You too as well. Double J double J G double double J double G. I have no idea what that stands for. But welcome to another live stream, Ghostface. And here I was excited to get a Costco membership in my new set. It, it's fine. Like you can go there and buy your products. Like for us, every now and then we get a Costco membership, load up, and then for a while we don't get it until they send us a little notice saying, oh, huge discount off Costco membership. We get the Costco membership, uh, load up if we have to, and that's it. But. Uh, like f it, for us, it's actually cheaper buying produce, food from the local Persian 
uh, in Vancouver anyway, local Persian grocery store than it is in Costco. Costco has certain things which are cheaper, like cheese at Costco is cheap, but uh, certain things are not. Certain things are not, right? Ghostface, da da da, I read that one. Ch -ch -ch. Um, the sweet chin can Costco still sell floor space in this economy is it worth it for uh, black and Decker or Mitsubishi direct TV solar panels agents and stuff um, uh, it depends uh, solar panels uh, there's a huge bubble forming with solar companies gig gi enormous right and that's because the Biden government has come out and said that uh, they're gonna pump billions into solar companies right uh, hundreds of billions into solar companies now that's not sustainable it's just a ponzi scheme right because it's a ponzi scheme solar solar technology is is not going to replace uh gas or oil okay it's extremely disruptive uh destructive to the environment there it's not sustainable like they sell solar as sustainable but it's not sustainable it really is not sustainable it is it is sort of a stopgap measure sort of an emergency use solar panel like for us our family we do have a battery that is a solar panel we bought just in case power goes up we can use a battery to power up so for example a few days ago um, it wasn't unknown but the city was doing emergency repair not emergency but um, what do you call it maintenance of the electrical grid here and they took the power down for a couple of hours right that was earlier this week so what we ended up doing we put the router in into the modem uh, into the battery right even though the house didn't have power we had a battery where we plugged the uh, modem into the battery right and we had cable right so we had internet well i'm guessing nobody else did because they didn't have an external power supply for their modem so for emergency use or times where you don't have access to electricity uh solar panel with a battery is not a bad idea but is that sustainable for a whole city for a whole country to go that through absolutely not you would have to mine the earth a gazillion times over to be able to provide solar 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 cells and batteries to everyone on the planet that is more destructive than bp shell exxon all put together if they operated for 500 years right so it's it's crazy it's it's a it's a money laundering scheme what's going on with the you know uh, ESG the environmentally sustainable goods all these labels and all these tax dollars that are being just squeezed out of society to launder money through Wall Street if you look at the stock for example of the symbol is ENPH um, I forget what the name of the company is family has is is in and out of puts on that thing right um, it's its stock has gone in the last four years three years its stock has gone from like three dollars to three hundred and something dollars right that's a ponzi scheme that's a money laundering scheme okay that's a money laundering scheme okay its stock price is based on revenue you'll make like 10 years from now right it's a scam and not fi financial advice but it's a scam right do with it do with this conversation as you please uh, but i can tell you at some point um family's keeping a very close eye on that thing if it pops high it's going to do a moderna right and if you've been following some of our personal finance stuff you know that family was buying puts on moderna in in the 300s and the 400s right and now moderna is 130 dollars or something like that moderna should be a shit company should be worth one dollar now it's a complete scam right so these solar companies will do the same right will do the same in my opinion how about the dg here has already downgraded to dollar sur uh, surgeon surgeon <laughs> is it let's see is the benefit of kicking up another war worth breaking the supply chain in the u.s um sleepy waves uh the western world economies are, are war-based economies 
right? Um, right now, what's going on is uh, China rising. Uh, Russian ruble is now the second reserve currency of the world. Uh, the global south is separating itself from the chains, from the shackles of Western society. So the Western societies, uh, United States, Europe is completely collapsed. It's done, right? <laughs> it's, it's done, right? The century of Europe is over. Okay. Uh, but what's going on right now? Western societies, our economies are on a serious downturn, right? And those in power in the West, they still have a military might to a certain degree. Not as powerful as it was five years ago, ten years ago, and five years from now, it's going to be even less powerful. So they're sort of lashing out in all directions, and they're going to try to create chaos. So chaos is the name of the game in our current um, political, geopolitical, and investing environment. So extremely important, extremely important to stay anti-fragile, invest in yourself first, get out of debt ASAP if you're in the Western world, because interest rates are going up okay um watch out for major trends changing okay um first and foremost stabilize your life get out of debt make sure you have a good food supply make sure you have uh, enough funds to pay your expenses for six months to a year max uh, minimum right so you're not going to be a slave to centralized power decouple yourself from centralized power extremely important extremely important that sweet chin costco is a weird mainstream flea market where um, customers don't get to haggle yeah yeah and uh slowly the underground economy is going to be building they won't be able to do another lockdown the way they did before so what's going to happen is uh uh costco is going to start feeling the squeeze coming in as they should that's my guess. Sleepaway Chicho, could one day we look at the charts together? Uh, Sleepaways, we did. We've done a live stream where uh, we looked at charts on the markets. Uh, that was, you know, when the markets were, you know, the Dow was at 35, 3600. Uh, well, it was 35,000, 36,000, right? We looked at the charts, and at that time, I told people family was going short, short, short on fang stocks and we did okay hard and people were like chicho you're out of your mind right i was like no man fang stocks are gonna go fucking down crumble hard chicho you're out of your mind right family bought puts here i'll give you an example family bought puts on paypal when it was at 300 effing dollars right what insanity 300 effing dollars right now PayPal is sitting at 90 something dollars bottom that you know 70 something dollars or 80 something dollars okay things are changing shifting now mind you family is not doesn't have any is not holding any more puts on fang stocks okay I told you what sectors family is betting except uh, Netflix I guess is a fang stock but Netflix is a long shot it's a high risk but Netflix is not going to keep on growing the way it has before. Netflix is on personal opinion, not financial advice. Netflix is not going to see growth as it did before. Netflix is uh, seeing competition of the yin yang, okay? And it's going to be possibly uh, continue to losing subscribers for quite some time to come. Okay. What's up? What's up? Sign out for dinner. How you doing? How you doing? And by the way, sleepaways, at some point we'll look at charts again. Okay. Uh, sign out for dinner. By the way, is the temperature really low where uh, you live, or do you wear uh, winter cap as part of the attire? I like I like toques. Right now, I'm just keeping my head warm. I like the warmth. It's nice. Um, temperature dropped a little bit at night time. It's getting colder, but we're still getting sun. The plants are loving it. The plants are loving it the plants are loving it Th this one is the smallest buds over here we've got uh, bigger buds going on right so uh the plants are loving it we're having a um uh, what is it called indian winter i guess uh, indian indian summer so our summer 
where we are is kicking into the fall so we're supposed to get another two weeks of sun which is fantastic amazing blackberry season gang oh yeah by the way the odds are on uh, tuesday uh starting early morning we're gonna start making blackberry jam okay we picked a whole bunch of blackberries yesterday we're gonna go most likely tomorrow get more blackberries and on tuesday morning we're gonna make blackberry jam so we're actually gonna do a cooking live stream on tuesday so heads up gang okay for those of you who've been asking for it the odds are we do a cooking live stream on tuesday uh, lark bark i used to work at costco hated it haha <laughs> i bet what a nightmare place to work ronnie how are you doing hi where do you think crypto is headed um crypto let's just mention bitcoin if bitcoin is able to hold 18,000 17,000 then it might pop huge okay uh, it might hit back up to 30 and then from there possibly 45 and break 60 maybe okay if crypto breaks 17,000 on the downturn could be going down to 10 and the next step would be five it could go either way i would not have everything in crypto i've mentioned this before i told people to uh that i would be selling 90 percent 95 percent of my cryptos when uh bitcoin hit above forty five thousand. uh i would start selling and then the 60 i said i'd maybe hold a five percent position uh in it uh so grapes and sour cream sorry elder god and hello elder god this is the great uh, skin and the sauce that i made will it focus very good very yummy Oh God. Tomorrow I will be saving money and probably making some. A lot of pubs are closing, along with many supermarkets, as a mark of respect for the Queen. But for me, I will be open all day for my not so ro royal supporting regulars. Awesome. I would come there and drink with you. If I was there, Ronnie, I'm dollar cost averaging into crypto nowadays, but it feels like they're going to go down a lot more. They could possibly go down a lot more. Okay. Be careful with dollar cost averaging. You might dollar cost average all the way to zero. Um, I don't think crypto will, Bitcoin will go to zero anytime soon, but uh, we see. That sweet chin, yeah, I agree big time with the Ponzi scheme aspect. We're gonna have uh, have many more solin solindras. Lots of fat cats, uh, lots of fat cats who end up rich after bankruptcy protection, and God knows how many tax breaks. Yeah, basically, these administrations, the Western governments, they're taking taxpayer money, right? sending it to the military industrial complex and giving it to wall street right on effing believable like the biggest theft in human history has been taking place in the last three years and it's gonna it's continuing on Un unbelievable <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> elegant sweden italy will soon have steady financial footing they just need to balance out their population. <laughs> Sweden and Italy are in deep shit still, Elder God. They're, 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 they're doing the part of the Euro thing. They're taking their orders from um, uh, Davos, right? The Davos crowd, the World Economic Forum. They're taking their marching orders from there. They're screwing over in their own citizens. We'll see where it goes. See, wait, Chicho, I wonder what's going to happen in Latin America. The new left Colombian president just reestablished relationships with Venezuela. Relationships, hopefully, they can get more of the U.S. pressure out from that region. We'll see. The Monroe Doctrine is still in full power, right? Um, see, wait, I know, uh, but the markets were doing nice back then. Um, can we look at the charts again at some point uh we'll look at the charts again at some point sleepy waves okay um 
I still need to do additional stuff. Um, right now, I think we'll start looking at the charts possibly when it might be a good time to buy back. Uh, right now is not a good time to go long, in my opinion, on the markets. Except for Rumble. I'm pretty sure there's some other stocks as well. By the way, I've got some walnuts and almonds going on as well. Uh, the sweet chin streaming TV is oversaturated like mad. Indeed. Indeed. And these uh, free speech video sharing platforms as well. They're taking revenue away from these Netflixes, and Disney's and all this Hulu's and all this shit. Especially when those companies are going woke. People are not not into the woke crap no more. Right? They figure they, they, you know, they're smelling the shit where it's at. Right? Uh, which dividend stocks do you have and want to accumulate for the future no dividend stocks the only the only company family is long on is rumble cfvi the symbol is cfvi now this is not financial advice and it's high risk nasreddin 1205 hey chicho 10 days left uh left to uh smart con mention this since i see the stream title is about investing with a crypto tag yeah i don't know too much about smart con or anything really ponzi killer yes nagushka i picked up two big bowls of blackberries two days ago nice nagushka this season is the most amazing blackberry season ever and i've been picking blackberries forever <laughs> all right here's the kicker all right pay attention to nature pay attention to nature there is a saying in my part of the world where uh or a belief system in my part of the world where it says if the spring and summer and fall are abundant lots of fruit food being produced it means it's going to be an extremely hard winter right because nature knows so nature provides a lot of food right for life to be able to survive the coming winter okay and this was the most amazing blackberry season i've ever seen that tells me that it might be an extremely hard winter extremely hard winter we see we see we see this is the grape concentrate full-on right and it's by the way picking your own fruit like we picked uh, we went last week we picked three and a half five three and a half those honey buckets right they're five pound honey buckets but five pound buckets I guess right three and a half last week right yesterday we picked six tomorrow we're gonna go and pick more right most likely that's a lot of money right they sell a bucket uh, sort of a bowl like this of blackberries I looked at the other day because I mentioned in a previous live stream I was like oh I wonder how much they're going for this much blackberries at the store grocery stores like seven eight dollars we picked <laughs> i don't know a few hundred dollars worth of blackberries i guess i mean here's my blackberry fingers take a look right oh, see that and the way i pick blackberries gang uh if you want to pick blackberries i put construction glove on one hand right usually you want to wear long sleeves but i didn't right construction glove in one hand so you can grab onto the um what do you call it here's salio you can grab onto the <laughs> you want to take a look again look take a look hi okay 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 <laughs> he's a great guy uh you want serious construction gloves so you can grab onto the vines right 
and pull them towards you you want a little step ladder because you can step up just a couple of step ladders uh, a couple of step thing you can step up and um, grab the overhanging blackberries right and you get a little rope thing and you put your bucket on your here so you, you're not holding a bucket you're working with two hands you got a bucket here that you're putting blackberries in okay um, you can pick a lot you can pick a lot oh god cooking stream fingers crossed we do Tuesday okay I'll announce most likely tomorrow okay it might be short notice uh, that sweet chin Colombia and Venezuela will end up like they always have under their Marxist leadership wealthy governors starving citizens US involved or not to a certain degree uh, hopefully that changes I hope sleep waves Bitcoin is fighting for its like at 19,000 yeah yeah that loss so does anyone here buy and sell in crypto or is it purely speculation um, crypto has always been speculation okay uh, as far as crypto goes uh, I've been following crypto and have been in the crypto game I guess you could call it since 2010 2011 even mine it a little bit um, and over the years I've recommended buying recommended selling um, and if you look back at previous videos our track record has been pretty damn good uh, has been extremely good actually we'll see where it goes now it could go both ways right now nor nasreddin just cda in the chain link lark park abolish the military industrial complex indeed and there's so many industrial complexes right now pharmaceutical industrial complex agricultural industrial complex uh censorship industrial complex video like it's all being centralized all of it all of it all of it censored censored centralized and censored right funnel taxpayer money to the wealthy ponzi scheme feed that beast right <laughs> sleepy waves says that sleepy waves is asking chicho so the tiktok kick you out yeah sleepy waves uh uh Steve waves uh, you were the one that was really asking us uh to get on tiktok right so after like a year or so two years or so uh and before that graham one of our mods uh woke mods a long time ago uh was saying oh, i should get on tiktok get on tiktok i was like man dude uh, i don't think it, it, you know well, i held off held off right and uh i'm not interested in going in any other censored platforms other than censor 2 because censor 2 have been there for 16 years now more than that how long i don't know 16 17 years since 2005 2006 i've been on censor 2 right generating content okay um and i wasn't really interested in going on any, any other censored platform so on tiktok i didn't hold back i was loading everything <laughs> all the little short segments i was loading on bitshoot rumble and odyssey i was loading on tiktok as well right for a couple of weeks few weeks there tiktok only took down one video and that was regarding ukraine and didn't like what we had to say regarding ukraine right so they only took down one video and then a couple of weeks ago i went to log on to tiktok and they took down the channel <laughs> and i didn't really give a rat's ass right because i'm not interested on in being any other censored platform on censor tube and that's because of grandfather that's a censor tube I've grandfathered in right because we've got a lot of content a lot of followers there uh, I'm okay not loading everything on there because I'm telling people everything's being loaded on bitchu rumble and odyssey gang okay so if you're on the sensor too this is where you want to be bitchu rumble and odyssey how good is the content being loaded on bitchu rumble and odyssey tiktok nuke does <laughs> which is exactly what would happen if we loaded that stuff on sensor too <laughs> <laughs> so we can't that stuff is sensitive we can't you know information you need to know right so you you need to be on bitchu rumble and odyssey which is one of the reasons family is heavily invested into rumble right just imagine what youtube was in 2005 that's what rumble is right now you follow you follow not financial advice not financial advice as long as humanity wins in the world economic forum neocons the globalists lose that is right 
sleepy waves. Uh, Colombia has never had a Marxist leadership. He's <laughs> been right wing for almost 40 years. It has been. Plan Colombia. Gang, if you want to know what Colombia has been, has what's been going on in Colombia, look, quotation marks, Plan Colombia. Look into what the United States did there and look into Monroe Doctrine. Monroe Doctrine, Plan Colombia. And then look into why uh, Noriega, why Panama was invaded, uh, linked up to the Panama Canal. Uh, it's. It's Monroe Doctrine, full blown, right? <laughs> What's good with shock communications? I don't know, tell you the truth. How much time do you spend every day looking at the markets? Uh, I look at the markets. Sleep waves, I follow the markets. Uh, I look at the markets more than I look at the weather, and I look at the weather a lot, right? Because I have plants, I grow plants and stuff, right? Uh, I, I like data. I'm just an analyst at heart sleepy waves I like charts it's it's a fun place to look at and I don't I don't do it for my whole life there are times I go into the markets and I mainly went into the markets because of you guys gang okay you guys kept on saying what about the market I said okay man I'll dive in right now and give you guys a feel for it right and that's what I did um, and that's what I'm doing and I don't think I want to stay in the markets forever we're just playing it right now okay Nasradin, Black Tony Stark. Thank you very much for a follow. Honk honk. Nasradin, SmartCon is the largest Web3 conference that's happening in 10 days. Nice. People from Swift, Microsoft, Samsung, DTCC will be attending, as well as a keynote speech by Eric Schmidt. Oh, God, Google, dude. Uh, the former CEO of Google, hosted by Chainlink. A lot of the topics will be about bridging trend, uh, traditional finance with uh, that de DeFi, right? Which is basically uh, uh, digital finance, right? Digital finance, digital currencies, centralized currencies, and all this stuff. Basically, they represent centralization of power, right? F them, right? Just to clarify what SmartCon is, thank you very much for the clarification, um, Nasradin. Right, so these these are these people are the enemy of humanity. Just to let you know, right? Swift, Microsoft, Samsung. Uh, I don't know too much about Samsung. Um, I know way more about Google and Microsoft and Apple and all these these techno techno fascists, right? So it'll be interesting to see what you know they're proposing. But we pretty much know what they're proposing, which is the opposite of why crypto was birthed, right? these people want to centralize everything they want to control everything they want to they want to know everything right crypto is about decentralization uh as long as they're privacy coins right now right uh bitcoin might have been a trap right by these people okay we'll see we'll see where it all goes nagushka gonna be winter of suffering and uh, funerals for the unvaxxed <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Uh, not, not the, not, not, not those crowd. It's going to be for other people. We'll see. We'll see. That sweet chin. I don't care about what they were. Right wing is in Latin America and is extremely left. Um, I disagree. Colombia. Colombia has never been really left. Where they're going is Marx. Green new skin. But that's that's the West. Uh, their their goose is cooked burnt to a crisp uh, that sweet chin we in Canada United States and Europe are going uh, green fascism if you want to call it we're going full-on totalitarian right uh, adjust accordingly <laughs> Sleepy waves taking it on. Good, good. That's sweet chin. No, actual Colombians. Nice try. They didn't leave because they had all the opportunities of personal handle. TikTok causes brain damage. Ponzi killer says. Comes in. TikTok causes brain damage. Pretty, pretty, pretty true. Right? Lonely Piggy, good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. Lonely Piggy, check out my snacks, brother. Uh, those grapes that we picked. 
I cooked up some of them. I'm gonna cook up more. We've got bags of it in the fridge right now. This is the paste, the skin of the uh, grapes that I cooked up, and I'm eating it with sour cream right now. Okay, super good. I put this in my cereals in the morning. It's really yummy. Look, seriously, I'm very decadent. Very decadent. All right. Here's the made the syrup. So cook that up and become syrup. Here's what the syrup looks like. It's concentrate. Very strong. This would go amazing to make cocktails. Okay, amazing. Super tangy. Ah, so good. With a big pot, I only put in like a cup and a half, cup and a quarter of sugar. And then I mix this with soda. So this is ultimate drink. All right, it's like a cocktail, but this is non-alcoholic right now. I'm not drinking alcohol today. <sighs> nice drink. And we have a couple of bottles. Like this is one bottle. This is a small bottle. We've got another bigger bottle in the fridge. And I'll probably be making more later today. Or tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. Soon, anyway. Plutonic Polaris, how are you doing? Good evening, sires and dames from my time zone good evening good evening to you as well platonic blurist first time chat first time chat black tony stark finally a channel about investing indeed indeed salute salute welcome to our live stream people should be talking about this a lot more by the way elder god to pawn Ponzi killer regarding TikTok is a Chinese propaganda machine. We get stupid videos offered by algorithms in China. It recommends only educational videos. Yeah, it's total control mechanism, right? Only piggy, always, always with the snacks, always with the snacks. Stay healthy, gang. Stay healthy. Not that you know, eating sour cream and well, the grapes thing is pretty healthy. It has like we cooked up a lot. There's a lot of sugar, not not a lot of sugar, right? And the grapes are just from our yard it's organic right so super good and the sour cream not as much <laughs> first time chad go go 99 personal investment is overrated budgeting is underrated indeed well said well said budget 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 it's not about how much you're bringing in it's how much you're putting out right it's not about how much you're bringing in it's about how much you're spending right frugal being frugal is a pretty important thing to do right be wise with your money be wise with your money the sweet chin i had a plate of um, machaca probably less healthy than grape skin i don't know what machaca is don't think what type of soda um, do you use in that uh just um club soda club soda no not ginger ale or anything just club soda no sugar just bubbly water right cyanide for dinner i feel bitcoin and blockchain was two cool uh two cool experiments that geeks loved and it was all dope and then these college jocks yeah mba grads greedy capitalists and gary gary v came took it too far and ruined it maybe it's just me i agree with you when wall street got involved with bitcoin uh family pretty much pulled out right the Winkle brothers Winkelstein or whatever the hell their names are vomit inducing man still with tiktok would be so good if it was uncensored you would think the chinese would want want us to wake the hell up and um, learn about our country's terrible pol policies mm. i don't know if it's censored fuck them Da, 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 da. go go 99 chicho yep there are plenty of people that regardless of how much they get paid they find a way to spend it all by next month yeah i have known a lot of people 
that are millionaires on paper and they don't have two fucking nickels to rub together right right i know a lot of millionaires a lot of people that are on paper extremely wealthy <laughs> in reality they can't afford shit right everything's debt everything's debt Consumers and sickness, Sleepy Wave says. Indeed. Ba, 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 ba. I'm scrolling. I'm gonna, just going to... Uh, see what Chicho, did you end up selling your SUV? I am about to get my first car, and I'm so excited. It's a um, 2012 Mazda 2 with 53,000 uh, kilometer miles. Nice. Uh, that's low clicks on it for 2012 purchase for 4k very nicely done very nicely done and yes the suv actually i passed it on to family passed it on to family i, I gave my suv to my mom <laughs> her car her car had a hiccup so i gave it to her she's a little lady driving a big ass suv love it love it Drooling over the next product that will consume. Uh, machaca is dried beef. Oh, wow. With uh, peppers and other stuff uh, if you want. Also pork. Nice. So it's like a pepperoni stick or something like that. Nice. I had some pepperoni sticks yesterday. Delicious. Gogo99. Chicho. Liquidity versus solid assets. Indeed. Stay liquid, gang. Um. Uh, uh, but it's still pretty good to have a net worth over a mil even if it is on paper you get easy loans easy credit to a certain degree but those times might be coming to an end right as the saying goes if you if you have only a little bit of debt the bank owns you if you have a tremendous amount of debt or if the bank calls your debt in they hurt their financials you own the bank right so name of the game is as there's an Armenian saying that says um, right it means if you're gonna eat shit eat it with a spoon <laughs> it means a lot if you think about it in terms of investing personal finance economics or whatnot right keep that in mind if you're gonna eat shit eat it with a spoon right if you're gonna it basically means if you're gonna go big uh, if you're gonna do something go big or go home right something on that front that sweet chen says i do beef with jalapenos onions and a light salsa delicious delicious put on a rest tiktok maybe something for a short attention span but maybe it's good to have all forms of communication and media from short to long videos and text i, I agree with you right it's the people that only consume content on the censored platform which are becoming brain dead and financially they're not secure they're not secure right do not consume all your content on censored platforms you will be financially ruined lonely picky do you get a new ride for yourself then she chose no we downsized uh, our family right my partner has a car uh, so we downsized to one car we only need one car right? we didn't need two cars that by the way i ran the numbers a long time ago basically a car for from my end if i remember correctly cost about ten thousand dollars a year okay so expenses for a car are around ten thousand dollars for a year okay that's a lot of money just imagine taking that money and investing it somewhere instead of burning it literally right uh nagushka our credit union is better than banks 100 percent, they're better than banks like our credit union here there is no fees you don't pay fees right you give a little bit of money join the co-op right uh join them as a member and you can do things with them uh, credit unions put money back into a community credit unions way better than banks way better than banks elder god i probably shouldn't say this but my investment in mongolia steel has gone up considerably in the last month nice good stuff good stuff 
I should look into Mongolia. Crazy Bro Athens, how are you doing? Welcome back, welcome back. And you got your awesome little uh, the thing with your emotes going on. <laughs> Cute. Cute. Doggies and caddies with wings and a fox. Uh, sign that for dinner to GoGo99. By the way, I didn't get what you meant by it's okay to enrich yourself on the reply. It's okay to be wealthy. Like, I don't agree. I don't know if this is what you guys were talking about. But personally, I hate the statement saying, eat the rich. What the hell does that mean, eat the rich? It's like saying, what? It's like, eat a certain segment of society because they're different than you. No, uh, I disagree. You can become extremely wealthy doing good for humanity. Okay? People have serious psychological issues if they think all rich people are bad or all poor people are good or vice versa right and there are people who think that way they think all poor people are bad and all rich people are good right they're they're psychos from both ends 990 990 how are you doing um uh studying uh eurasian history of corrupt empires for school will i be this uh disappear for uh studying mongolian history i don't think so no well it depends are you in mongolia are you doing uh, things that your government pre prevents you from doing prof z prof z i would argue it's a synonym for sickness consumerism plutocros i can imagine chicho in a Hydraulic low rider car. <laughs> That'd be super fun, man. Super fun. Ronnie, do you feel Russia is losing this war? Hell no. Russia losing it. <laughs> Russia, three years ago, Russia is so much more powerful now than it was three years ago. Two years ago. Like, unbelievably so unbelievably so they 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 have the second reserve currency of the world in the world right now they've cut deals up the yin yang majority of the world and all the global south support russia right or abstaining from calling them bad putin bad uh russia is extremely powerful that's one of the reasons uh with the ruble and uh the basket of currencies is going to create through the Shanghai Cooperation Organization that uh, the West is so afraid. Europe has completely collapsed. Uh, no, Russia's extremely powerful. They're lowering interest rates. Crazy Bro Athens says, doing fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, when I look around, the people I know, most of them have debts and are bound to it. 95% are in debt. They call me rich because I have no debt at all. In some way, they are right, 100%. One, one thing you're rich in is intelligence because you didn't go into debt just like those fools. All right? Wealth can be measured in multiple ways, right? Intelligence, that's a measure of wealth good health that's a measure of wealth right good network that's a measure of wealth right uh, emotional uh, spiritual well-being that's a measure of health mental well-being that's a measure of health right when you're when you know what's going on in the world that's a measure of health that means you can protect yourself right Ronnie says there are also people that think hard work is pointless. Well, I guess they've never worked hard on anything. Depends what you're working hard towards. And that success only comes with pure luck. Well, those people are called gamblers. Never do business with a gambler. Ron, um, Chicho, I mean, Chicho, sleepy waves. I feel like billionaires shouldn't uh, exist. To be, uh, to be honest, people hoarding that much wealth and not contributing to society 
or the planet are just wasting of sources now here's here's my question are you under the assumption that all billionaires are um, what did you say to, to, to hoarding wealth and not contributing to society because I'm not I don't personally know any billionaires I know multi-millionaires right and some of them do contribute to society so I'm assuming there are billionaires that also contribute to society right uh, unfortunately the billionaires we know of they're le leeches they're cancer to society right um, because they're the ones who've been doing certain things right so I can't categorize people based on their skin color the language they speak their religion or their wealth I refuse to fall into that trap and it is a trap 999 or 990 the story is a Genghis Khan's men killed 20,000 people that helped help knew about his burial site yeah I heard about that too I didn't realize it was 20,000 people I thought it was a few thousand people or a few hundred people Uh, Ronnie says becoming billionaire is just a result of these guys being innovative I disagree with that as well some of them are billionaires because they scam the system they're like for example Al Gore is now the first green billionaire right who he, he wasn't innovative he's one of their the people that's been scamming uh, taxpayers for decades right giving subsidies like subsidies to solar companies taking the stock from three dollars to three hundred something dollars well you're telling me these morons these 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 psychopaths that are have their fucking tentacles into society right now that are siphoning money from the poor to the rich that's because they were innovative no that's because they're thieves right so I disagree on that front too I don't think billionaires are billionaires because they were innovative uh, you can't generalize like that either I'm sort of burning both sides right now that sweet chin Russia has no reason to do anything but let this fight burn slow the oligarchs and banksters celebrate nightly Ronnie it's not that there exist insanely wealthy people the problem is that there are uh, poor people uh, the problem is centralization of power it's destroying our societies <laughs> and gang do not forget do not forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on sensor 2 Plutonic Polaris, let's read this. As I heard from the Duran and Scott Ritter, etc., Ukraine can have some counter success with the help of US military intelligence, etc. But if Russia um, levels up, Ukraine will lose quicker. Yep. But Russia seems still to favor slow uh, special operations over causing more damage to the civilian infrastructure of Ukraine. Yeah. But I think things are going to kick up. I think what's going to happen is. Uh, there's going to be flare-offs across the Russian border as well um, because NATO does what NATO does sleep ways Chicho no but the majority of them are not but I don't know uh, the ones we see I don't know how many billionaires there are in the world uh, but the ones in the spotlight right now they're psychopaths many of them right not all not all elder god the telegram channels i am member of make me make me feel like the world is coming to an end looking at events going on in europe is like watching a horror movie now uh, yeah it's, i don't know if it's a horror movie it's uh it's by design like it's it's planned dismantling of the european economic system and people are allowing it to happen it's 
stupid does what stupid does, right? Uninformed people that have put their whole faith, the the well-being of themselves and their families and their societies into the hands of psychopaths. <laughs> what? That's insane to me. Save for a rainy, rainy day. Indeed, indeed. Middle class is getting crushed. Yeah, but middle class started getting crushed after 2008 financial scam. Right? Huge percentage of middle class got destroyed during the Obama administration. Right? Never forget, Citigroup chose Obama's cabinet right? administration. birdie here this is taken from someone else but interesting note quote in most developed countries the distribution of income is relatively equal with top 10 percent earning about three times as much as the bottom 10 percent that means the same relative standard of living broadly persistent persists across the income distribution but the income distribution in the uk and particularly the US are much much less equal in the UK the top 10% earn about five times the bottom and in the US it's more than six times that creates a steep gradient from top to bottom yeah I've heard this before too plutonic polaris and I think the I thought the numbers were a lot higher than that to tell you the truth plutonic polaris uh, states Neo-feudalism seems to be a danger to social mobility and to the middle class. The divide and to divide and rule. Nine hundred ninety. May I suggest a theory? The origins of our species beget grouping up, even against our own, to steal a banana from one in your own troop quote humanity end quote is the uh, striving and setting up a non-violent fair system of obtaining calories nourishments devoid of our primordial violent long uh long ago past uh, maybe um if you i used to watch a lot of nature shows and there's a lot of nature uh, shows out there where it shows um, a herd, a group uh, of animals uh, helping uh, members of their species or their herd or their group, right? Uh, so uh, I don't know if uh, you know every monkey is going to steal the bananas of another monkey. Is that true? I, I don't know. I would have to look into that but I think uh, in their community they do uh, share food uh, they do take care of each other they do groom each other we know that right one of the reasons they groom each other is because they get protein they eat little bugs off each other and that's their protein right you will ease the bugs yes you will ease the bugs <laughs> the craziness Elder got to 990 not really they were like nomadic travelers they had some uh, unprogressive ideas though Ch -ch -ch. Ronnie I'd be considered top 10% easily in most countries and maybe in the US but I don't feel well off at all I also don't have any debt nice Plutonopoulos the Neolithic Revolution can be seen uh, can be seen critical but it gave us chicho gang <laughs> ronnie the housing price and overall inflation is just irritating indeed indeed we'll see what happens with the housing price like for example i was talking with a friend yesterday and actually i know two people now that i've talked to recently they got they they renewed their mortgage with floating interest rate and I told them not to do it, but they did it anyway because the experts are recommending floating interest rates, right? And one of them that I talked to last night, their mortgage went up almost doubled in the last few months, 
right? That's huge. That's huge, right? So it went from like two and a half to four and a half percent right now. And she's she's sort of panicking to a certain degree, hoping that she can lock it in uh, at a rate that she was offered uh, before the last one point interest rate hike. And I told her the odds are she won't be able to lock it in then, but she should lock it in most likely uh, for as low as a price as she can get. Because short of World War III kicking into full effect, which we're in the midst of, but it might take a little bit of time, uh, interest rates are on the way up in the Western world. Okay, That sweet chin, you can see that power disadvantage front and center this weekend when the folks at Martha's Vineyard had mobilized military intervention in like 24 hours. That was insane to me. Insane. And how hypocritical, how hypocritical, right? Craziness. Nine hundred and ninety to Elder God. I did a double take when I started really studying Asian empires. The Popol or Popot reign only happened last century. It's not seeing progress there. Yeah, Popot was brutal. Crazy bro, Athens. Ease the bugs or bugs ease you. <laughs> 990. In our past, if a farmer aspired to grow crop, keep animals, he she had to, had to defend his crops uh, from the marauders and bandits of his land and the farmer wouldn't have been alone the community would have had to defend themselves right so no one was on their own really unless you were really on the outskirts right uh -huh. plutonic porous we probably need some bugs in the system yeah every system right the three stooges how are you doing welcome back hey it's one of the marx brothers chicho how you doing pal how you hi how are you pal doing good thank you very much three, three stooges hope you're doing well too enjoying your sunday european progress uh Alaga says i love mongolian society for that europe's progress is going to end up annihilating all of us yeah two world wars started in europe right why is that uh -huh. plutonic polaris hooray for marx brothers comedic anarchy haha <laughs> ronnie the paul pot invite hot pot no i don't think so hot pots are from china no 990 look what lenin stalin did consolidate all agriculture resources to benefit only the state yeah and look at what's going on in the western world that is exactly what they're doing in the western world right attack the small farmers they're consolidating agriculture into a few hands centralizing it what a disaster what a disaster centralization is the worst yeah that's sweet chin i don't live up there but my friends in phoenix are saying the housing issues in that uh, city are even worse than 2008 and phoenix um, was hit terribly then just sad just sad we'll see what happens elder god chicho i have to ask about your car what color is it um the one i got rid of was uh, golden i guess <laughs> It was a hand-me-down from my dad's actually <laughs> uh, our color is black I think my partner's car black I used to have silver and I used to have green I've had blue as well my first car my first car that I owned that was a hand-me-down from my brother it was a Le Car Renault Le Car <laughs> one of the funnest cars you ever drove in your life what a, 
What an insane car. It was like driving on a couch. It was crazy. Super fun, super fun. One of the funnest cars I ever had was a CRX, Honda CRX. Honda Civic CRX. Fantastic car. And Pathfinder. Pathfinder was amazing. That sweet chin. I think Bill Gates buys an acre a minute at this point. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. I had a green car too. Yeah, yeah. The first car was green and another car was green. I had two green cars. But they weren't green energy cars. They were gas cars. Stick with Chicho. Chicho, you, you say you don't care for billionaires. But I would say billionaires existing is a cinema of centralization. I, I don't know. I don't know sleepy waves I don't know I haven't looked at all all billionaires I, I judge people according to what they do not how much money they have right uh, so for example we know many billionaires that are in the spotlight that are pieces of shit I also know many bureaucrats and politicians that are in a spotlight that don't have very much money that they're pieces of shit so it money is not the defining factor for a human being just like money uh, should not be the defining factor of what wealth is right wealth comes in many different forms uh, so should someone's integrity be based on not how much money they have or don't have but what they do who they represent right? three stooges yeah just chilling here enjoying a cold brew of the alcohol kind of course but in time for Chicho's Sunday service. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Never thought about a Sunday service, but it could be, I guess. Did you say green? I did say green, Elder God. My first car was a green Le Car. My first car was a green Le Car. I loved green. My favorite color for decades upon decades since I was a child used to be green. Now I like all colors. My first car, though, green Lacar. I also had a green Subaru Outback uh, for a while. I did drive a uh, Renault. We had two different Renaults. One of them was uh, the Lacar. That was the first one. And then uh, uh, Peugeot. 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 Renault Peugeot. That was a great car, too. Super fun. French cars. I think it was a Peugeot. Man, I can't remember now. Photographers in a technologically advanced society, societies, the human setbacks are more effective, uh, affect more people, as the division of labor and technological independence is stronger. Lada, huh? I would love to get my hands on a Lada. Plutonic Flores. I would love to get a Lada. <laughs> That thing would probably work forever. I think anyway. Steve Way Chicho. My friend bought a house in Detroit because it, uh, he wants to be close to the largest body of fresh water in the US. Uh, possibly, possibly. But is it going to be clean water still? Like during the 2008 financial scam, house prices in Detroit, houses that used to sell for $100,000 we're selling for three thousand dollars right hundred thousand dollar house collapsed down to three thousand dollars you could have picked it up for there was catch to it but three to five thousand dollars my time mm. that's sweet chin i had a del soul nice in high school then i hit a growth spurt that made it impossible to try. <laughs> Hilarious. 990. A successful tyrant will separate himself, his his empathy from his empire, and treat his participants in that of a dis disposable ant farm toy. He will trick the ants to grow crop, milk them of their energies, breed them, dispose of the elders that concentrate his focus on tricking the youth to seek God by hard labor that only benefits his glutinous lifestyle yeah you only have to in general you, only, you basically have to control 
a society's education system to be able to control that society right first time chat suhibu missed could you slowly step back and put your clothes on? hilarious but first time chat i'll have a salute for you another first time chat bye 0485 do you have some wheat plants over there i have some cannabis i've got lots of weeds all over the place like there's weeds in here and stuff but i got cannabis here you got four cannabis plants the nice bud is on this one this one has good bud see that if we get another two weeks of sun we're gonna have some nice buds oh it smells amazing it smells as good as tomatoes i love tomato smell we've got tomatoes growing here too we've got basil lots of basil growing we got lots of stuff growing oh yeah baby that's money in the bank right like I'm growing money like if you have a garden personal finance advice again if you have a garden you're growing money right like organic tomatoes cost it's so expensive in my part of the world right here yeah you know, I'll take this one down right? organic tomato right I could have let it ripen more but I wanted to show you guys right beautiful we've got lots of green or green green tomato uh, tomatoes here and they're gonna ripen slowly in the next month or so that's money right personal finance advice you want to be frugal grow your own food healthy organic fantastic right Crazy Pro Athens. My first car was a Renault 9. Had so much with it. Also, I've uh, bought it for 75 euros. 75 euros. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I had the Le Car, the Le Car, for a year. The bolt in the bottom of the car, uh, for it was a standard, of course, right? Had come off. So I would, I had went down under the car and the bolt had come off i couldn't find a new bolt right um so i duct taped the the stick shift to the gear changer so i was driving a Renault car with duct tape holding it the gear changer <laughs> duct tape man powerful stuff <laughs> awesome i do not recommend doing that of course of course right hilarious birdie here there's a good clip from bob marley interview where he he is asked about uh, being rich yeah yeah i've linked it up and we watched it i think or I mentioned that a few times you know interview ask him are, are you rich and then Mar marley's laughing goes oh, and then it goes to the interviewer what do you mean rich and the interview goes can you go to the bank and take out a million dollars and marley laughs oh, ha, ha. he goes no man no man uh if that's the way that's that's what you consider rich i'm not rich but i'm rich in many other things right that's the definition of rich right i'm gonna scroll down a little bit gang just to see if there's anything directed towards me I'll look at those lada and renaults <laughs> 990 please delete my comment after this stream I do not want my king to know I am a smarter than him. Ha <laughs> ha. Three Stooges. Yeah, we're you. Yeah, we're at some strange time in the world. Like my local bank, they said at this bank you're a friend. Well, next month my friend is taking my house. Yeah, banks are not your friend. They're not anybody's friend. See that 420. How are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Hope you're well. Doing well, man. Thank you very much. Plutonic furnace, at least the old Ladas have nearly no electrical uh, gimmicks in them. They they are said to be very reliable. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. Right. I don't know about new ones, I don't even know if they're new ones. But Ladas like the what do you call it? Uh, wow, construction going on. With uh, with Russian military weaponry, they work. 
no matter what. Ah, no, sleepy ways. I don't freeze the tomatoes. Sea Runder, thank you very much for the follow. Wow, I hope that's not going to continue the whole time. The amount of construction, random construction here is crazy. By the way, we have a festival going on in town. And uh, we're close to one of the open air stadiums. Flying Kiwi, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Hong Kong. Uh, we have, we're close to an outdoor stadium here and uh cypress hill was playing so we can hear the music uh so cypress hill was playing for like an hour oh man the construction sound what are they doing is the sound buggy you guys game or are you guys okay with the background jars yeah we usually uh what do you call it eat the tomatoes that we get uh and when you pick them green, they'll last forever. Not forever, but they'll last a while. Ghostface, you cool with it? The sound is fine? Okay, awesome, awesome. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, Wades, Wades, I grow cucumber, tomatoes, and lettuce in my garden. Nice, nice, yeah, us too. We had cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce, uh, cilantro, parsley, um, Uh, Italian parsley, uh, mint, uh, zucchini, shijo, <laughs> uh, Japanese, this Korean Japanese herb. So a whole bunch of stuff. Grapes, grapes, uh, black currants, gooseberries, raspberries, strawberries. Just a little patio, right? Just a little bit of each. Uh, well, some of the stuff was a lot. A lot of tomatoes. A lot of tomatoes. Aldegar says, I am rich. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> Marley style. Marley style. Uh, see you, boys. Chicho, has your landlord raised your rent? Mine just, uh, just hit me up with that inflation shit and is going to raise mine by 300 bucks. Crazy. Yeah, our, ours in Canada, where I am, there's sort of rent control that can only raise it, I think, three or five percent per year, and they've been doing that. Three, oof, three percent. I think it's three percent. Two, three, five percent, and they've done that. They they didn't raise it during the um, during the lockdowns in the last couple of years, or the first year, two years. But now they've raised it again. I can understand it because everything's super more expensive, right? Again, a client, uh, flying kiwi. Thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. They've subbed for two months. Woohoo! How's it going, Chicha? Doing well, flying kiwi. Thank you very much. Glad to have you on another live stream. Salute. The sun is nice, gang. We're getting like a late summer going on here. It's so good, so good. <laughs> Insane in the Membrane. That was the last song they played. Insane in the Membrane. The sounds isn't that bad at all. Nine hundred ninety. I am a an escaped freed cyborg experiment that was freed, and now I am uh, farming my own plot of land. Nice. Crazy bro Athens. Maybe there are. They're uh, digging a tunnel into <laughs> your home to steal your tomatoes. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Nagushka, my first decree as King Nagushka is to forcibly turn all lawnmower, weed hackers, uh, leaf blowers, and gardening power equipment over to the authorities. <laughs> Too bad, gardeners. You're do going to have to grow some muscle and do things the old fashioned way. Like, man, like, seriously. The uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, noise pollution in suburbs with gardening stuff. Sometimes it's just crazy. The leaf blowing thing is just. I've seen leaf blowers. It's just I know I know it's their jobs. What they're in in <laughs> near malls and stuff like this, or strip malls and whatnot. They fall like with a leaf blower. The guy's just following a leaf 
down the sidewalk. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Landlord, landladies, haha, sleepaways. Chicho, are you still uh, doing math tutoring? Yeah, indeed, sleepaways. We just started. This year just started. Um, started pretty heavy. And we're going to get back into doing math live streams as well, just as, as, as soon as I get some footing. Uh, I'm just getting my steam back right now, slowly. It was a nasty little flu I picked up. I wonder where it came from. <laughs> craziness <laughs> craziness and gang do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2 and dustin thank you very much for the follow honk honk We've been live for an hour and 45 minutes. Uh oh, we're about to call the stream. We're about to call the stream. Grapes and sour cream. Or grape paste and sour cream. Grape skin and sour cream. Super delicious. Decadent. I hope you guys have good snacks. It's part of staying healthy first time chat Dustin salute Dustin black Tony Stark recommended you black Tony Stark thank you for recommending us salute to you as well welcome to our live stream i hope you guys have had a fantastic sunday prof z quote the emissions from half an hour of leaf blowing are equivalent to driving a car car at 30 miles per hour for 440 miles is that correct oh my god <laughs> crazy two stroke two stroke engines are so dirty I think they're two strokes, most of them, the like Gushka. Uh, like, I'll give you an example, though. There is um, opportunities out there. Like, my cousin has a gardening company, and all their garden equipment are electronic, right? No gas-powered garden equipment. So the noise factor on them is way less, way less, okay? So there is, there is a place for um, electric equipment, right? Um, and it and it could do a lot of good, but not the way centralized power is pushing everything, right? Nagushka, I'm going out in about an hour to pick uh, pick more uh, more blackberries. Nice, nice. We would have gone out today too to pick more, but my partner was busy, so we're gonna go tomorrow. Amazing, gang! Amazing, amazing blackberry season. Amazing blackberry season, and again, most likely. Tuesday morning at around 11 o'clock we're gonna make some blackberry jam okay we're gonna do a cooking live stream but I'll let you guys know for sure tomorrow okay I don't want to set the time possibly have to change it uh, I have to cancel a couple of students to be able to do it I'm trying to rearrange them okay elder God the chorus why why are about to go on um, after the stream maybe you could listen chores why why i don't know what that is by the way gang we'll have to end the stream probably a couple of minutes before uh pretty soon anyway in a few minutes uh before one o'clock because at one o'clock the the concert kicks up again it's outdoors and what's going to happen we're going to hear the sound and the sensor tube and whatnot might consider the music to be copyright or something and uh, mess around with our stream right so we don't want that 990 i doubt it if we we'll get clear here but we'll see 900 i don't want to take the risk anyway 990 90. i found that after sickness it is important crucial even to get on a diet of regular balanced meals google image search healthy eating and you can go go wrong yeah 
can't go wrong I would say brave search uh, F Google search that's completely censored so I don't use Google search anymore uh, just brave brave and uh, start page every now and then the switch in you have any cac uh, cactus up there Chicho seems like succulents would uh, certainly do well up there uh, inside yeah I, I have some cacti that I'm growing uh, lots of jade a uh, couple of prickly cactus uh, cacti are the first thing that I started growing when I was a kid uh, you don't have to do anything so easy right Alagada festival striving to be physically healthy strong is everything indeed are you at the the, the gorge in Washington no no not at the gorge but I've been to the gorge a couple of times two times I think maybe three times amazing I saw Roger Waters at the gorge awesome what a show that was back in 2000 or 2001 what or 2002 maybe Roger Waters at the gorge wow it was really good man really good huge respect to Roger Waters uh, who else did I see I saw a string cheese incident at the gorge as well oh prickly pears I like prickly pears I like prickly bears blackberry most likely we're gonna make blackberry jam on Tuesday uh, starting at around uh, 11 a.m. we'll see we'll see uh, I have to work around my partner's schedule as well but we'll see okay but I'll let you guys know gang aside from that let's call the stream thank you for being here uh, thank you for the discussions I hope uh, I hope it was helpful Alga Chicho I get news feeds from Victoria BC I saw the festival was on this weekend yeah yeah I've gone to the festival before by the way and it's been fun uh, super fun I've been to uh, it's called Riflandia um, before the pandemic before the thing uh, went for two years I think uh, it's very expensive though uh, but we did go and it was it was super fun had a blast had a blast uh, saw a fair bit of people playing aside from that gang uh, thank you for being here if you want to know what this work is about I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho you can follow the work there we do also do have a subscribe star page and a sub stack page so all three platforms are fantastic uh, for following our work for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support and as well as the support that we're getting on twitch that we're able to do what it is that we are doing so gang thank you for being here thank you for the discussion and sharing information and as always mods 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 thank you for being here and taking care of business on here and on gilded right and we do have a gilded server where you can join the conversation there and uh, share information free speech platform right uh elder god it's 240 dollars a ticket it's gone up a little bit <laughs> we do announce these last streams 30 minutes before we go live on vk gab getter bitcloud um uh, parlor and um and mines and we'll see what other platforms uh we may jump on as well three-day pass yeah uh, but I don't think it includes all the the nighttime venues so we want to talk some nighttime venues where I don't think so anyway uh, but basically it, it's 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 not bad if you make use of it if you make use of it thanks guys for a good stream yeah you guys as well you guys as well you the man Chicho keep enjoying the ride indeed you have to you have to three hots and a cot haha <laughs> gang you will be able to find the audio of this live stream as a podcast on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play and this full live stream will be loaded on sensor tube on bitchute on rumble and on odyssey but to those on sensor tube all the live streams are not being loaded on there they're being loaded on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. So if you don't follow everything that we're doing, you want to be on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Elder God, $525 for VIP. I would go. Haha, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. There's some good uh, good people playing there uh, at the festival. It's, it's a nice vibe um, to a certain degree. It could be a little bit weird as well. 
Lots of pleases and thank yous. Uh, will open up my doors. Haha, <laughs> awesome. Gang, I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday and most likely see you on Tuesday if you want to do a cooking live stream where we're going to make blackberry jam. Fun, fun, fun. Bye, everyone. <laughs>